Roswell flight test crew here at Exponential 2023 in the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. And I'm here talking to Lena Pinheiro over at US Drone Soccer. How are you doing, Lena? I'm doing great. Thank you for being here. It's my pleasure. And I just watched a match between the Korean national team and a U.S. team. It was a somewhat lopsided competition, but nevertheless, it was awesome. It was kinetic. What is drone soccer? Why do you guys do it? What's going on here? So drone soccer is the newest e-sport. It's a drone team sport. Um, five on five students, they, they each fly their own balls. They try to score in the opposite hoop and just have fun with it and be part of a team here. When I think soccer, I of course think people kicking a ball, but in this case, the players are the ball, basically. Right, we don't kick our balls, we fly them. Each player has a drone ball, and one of them is a striker, the other ones are defenders and trying to avoid the striker to go through their uh, team hoop. Now, can any of the balls go through the hoop and score a goal? No, only one striker per team, so there are scoring simultaneously, but one striker per team. Okay, and what happens if the striker goes down? Because it seemed to me these drones go down every once in a while. Yeah, if you notice, there were two um, two balls with flags. So the first flag starts scoring. When he goes down, the next, which is the backup, will start scoring for the team to keep the, uh, the game going. Right. Now, I, I, I mean, this looks like a tremendous amount of fun. I admit I'd like to fly one of these things myself. But, but the point is not just the fun, is it? The fun is the hook. We want students to go into aviation careers, drone careers, aerospace careers, if you will. So, but right now, and due to FAA regulations, they have to wait until the age of 16 to get their licenses or to start pilot training, any of that. But that time is too late. We have lost them to other industries. We have lost them to other interests. So we want to make sure we retain them. They have fun with us, they play, they learn in the process, and by the time they're 16, they could go into the, into the world, into the industry, and get their licenses and start flying professionally. Well, I'm certainly grateful to you for doing that. Now, let me ask you this. So do the drones come out of the box and the students just bring them out here and fly them? Are they involved with the aircraft other than that? No, the students receive a kit, all their components are disassembled. The students put them together, they learn how to, um, program them, they learn how to fly them, they learn how to repair them, and as you saw, in between sets, they have five minutes, they do their own maintenance, they change their propellers, do whatever they need to do to get back in the game. So the student, it's the owner of their own drone. And I was going to say, I myself am an ice hockey fan. It reminds me a little bit of ice hockey because you can tag another drone and maybe even knock it out, and that's part of the game. Exactly. This is a contact sport, so there's a lot of contact, a lot of battle damage in the drones, but the kids have fun, and that's the point, to have them repair them and be confident with their engineering skills. Uh, that's fantastic. So if, if somebody wants to get involved, like let's say they're at a high school, you know, and they want to bring this to their school, What's the procedure? How do they do it? The best way to good do it is have their teacher, so their STEM teacher, the robotics teacher, contact us. We will provide all of the information. Most of these programs are funded through grants, um, career and technical education grants or workforce development grants. Um, the school goes through the process of getting the funding. They call us, we provide the equipment, we provide the training for the educators, and they just start with their students and have fun. And then how is it going? I mean, how many schools are currently enrolled? Are more joining up? Yes, we're super excited. Right now we have 100, more than 100 schools up and running. We have a lot more um, interest, so they're coming into the program. We're hoping to be able to deploy um, programs all over the country. And we also have some international um, programs in Puerto Rico, Canada, Nigeria, South Korea. All of the countries are interested in joining the program. Now, I was going to say, the, the South Koreans really put on quite a show. Did, did, does this sport have a special history in South Korea? Yes, the sport was invented in South Korea, and they're the ones who developed the, the drones first. Uh, we decided to bring it into the West, but we realized as a hobby, the cost will go to the students or into the families, of course. But if we bring, bring it as an educational program, the school can help support those programs, the school system, uh, federal funds and private funds, so that every student around the country has the opportunity so we can manage equity and inclusion uh, 
components here for every student to have these opportunities. Fantastic. Now, one thing I noticed is that the arena, which I saw today, is pretty big. Yeah. Is, there, is that going to work for like a high school? This might be kind of large for them. Right. So this is the collegiate level. So this is intended for uh, universities, technical uh, institutions and organizations. The smaller size, the 20 centimeter size, it's intended for the high school. So they will have a smaller arena that it's fully uh, collapsible and, and modular. They can put it up in the small gym or in a classroom and then take it down at the end of the day, store it in a storage closet. And the balls are a lot smaller and easier to fly to get them started. And then eventually they will move into the bigger size, the professional size. Got it. Well, I, as an educator myself dedicated to UAS and particularly when you get young people hooked, because you're right, if we don't get them young, they're going to migrate to something else. And at the same time, something that's you know legitimately fun to do. I really appreciate what you're doing here, so thank you. We're, we're grateful, we're happy to have all these kiddos, all these happy faces, we're just here for them. <laughs> Obviously. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to explain it. It's been a blast. Thank you so much for coming. We love it. Please come join us. Our website, dronesoccer.us. Uh, send me an email. I will respond to you guys. We'll be more than happy to have you in our program. Fantastic. All right. And from Exponential 2023 in fabulous Denver, Colorado, this is the Roswell Flight Desk Crew signing off.